Right. Hello VC, it's Martin here. Hope you're all doing alright. Um, just uh, been uh, banished to the spare room here to uh, do this video. Um, had a record fair yesterday in my local pub. It went really well. I sold a few bits and bobs and actually I bought quite a bit as well or swapped some as well. Um, we had a couple of DJs there. It being a pub you had food and um, drink there of course yeah and it was a really great atmosphere and we are going to do another one December whether or not I can make that or not I'm not entirely sure but it, it went really well so um, really just pleased with that because it took us a long time to, to sort of um, organize and there was a lot of doubts about would we have enough sellers and such but no, it went really well. Um, I'll show you what I got. A few CDs for a pound here. I've got um, Introduction to Nick Drake. The 90s compilation of late 70s music, Sound of the Suburbs. And much talked about on the VC here, this... Uh, First, um, Dennis Wilson solo album. I've never heard this ever, to be honest with you. Um, it's a sort of a deluxe pack kind of kind of thing, which all spreads out. And then some CDs. Uh, sorry, some albums. Oh, no, hang on. First, I've got a tea. We've got a tea towel here. a tea towel although maybe it will just end up getting hung up on the wall I'm not sure yet and that didn't cost anything someone just gave it to me actually um, rather nice this down here this is what I bought like earlier on this year this is a project record cleaner and um, well I, I have to admit um, there's no complaints about it you know most stuff it, it cleans really well um, it's got the, the plate on the bottom as well as the uh, top one. So when you turn it over, um, it's just quite easy to do. Whereas I've heard I've heard some people say about another expensive machine from Japan that actually it wasn't that great. So that swayed me towards this and the price of this as well um, is well was it about three fifty I think I paid for it about that. Okay, first one I'm gonna to have to keep bending round, but is a Candy Staten album that cost me a couple of quid, or two fifty I think it was. And she's got a really nice voice, and uh, showing a little bit of uh, something there, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of VC stuff lately that sort of prompted me a bit to gaps in my collection and my tastes particularly i would say sort of disco soul funk um that kind of thing um even like that sort of easy listening and uh you know even people like shirley bassey dion warwick and that sort of stuff so i've often sort of just bypassed them completely because i thought that's not my sort of thing but i know that there are and people have shown lately a lot of um good stuff classic stuff that turns up all the time so now i won't sorry i'm not really looking at the camera here but um a lot of stuff that really i should be um investigating a bit further but i just haven't so this is the sort of thing and maybe even some of the other stuff that i've got here albeit it was all very cheap anyway but it's um been a bit of a, a bit of an eye-opener i suppose to um I'll do it like this so you can't see what's coming. Uh, oh yeah, some dancey stuff. Does anybody remember this? Glowworm, Carry Me Home. Sort of very gospel, not rave exactly, I think sort of like a bit housey I suppose. There's a Rollo from Faithless remix on there. Yeah, a lot of that sort of stuff. I suppose you could say some some black music as well, not because I don't 
you know, I don't, not because I don't like it or anything, I just, I don't know, I didn't really, um, just didn't really go for it, I don't know why, but it's something else. Clivy Les and Cole, and it's uh, the U2 song. That is more a rave trance sort of version of it, I would say. Uh, 12 inch, 12 inch of Let Love Rule. With a, with a nice gatefold there. These are all a pound. They're, they're actually from somebody that actually, in the 90s, when I worked in um, this record shop, this guy used to come in and buy loads and loads of 12 inches of um, of um, stuff, particularly dance. In fact, we trusted him so much. We used to say, look, we haven't got time to play them. Just um, take them home with you and bring them back in the morning, which he did. Julian Cope. Pulp did actually have Pulp, his and hers, and um, the album after it by Flogdon, unfortunately. I mean, out of the two of them, I suppose his and hers, I think I would prefer over different class. Uh, Sven Vaff, this one is um, La Esperanza, and this one's called Ritual. I have actually got the album. Uh, those are on. It's called Accident in Paradise. The Scritty Plitty album. I mean, I've heard people talk about this, but I don't know what it's like, and I don't know much by them. A word girl, I think I remember the single two in the 80s. That was a couple of quid. I did also find something which I'll DCLT somebody or maybe do a competition. I'm not sure yet. I'm probably due to do something like that. Another one. Doing it for the kids, so create creation compilation, creation compilation. Uh, Felt, House of Love, Primal Scream, My Bloody Valentine, Momus. Uh, das Boot, a quid. Yeah, it was a quid. Yeah, from somebody else now. We've moved on to somebody else now. Sorry. Uh, oh, now I have an album by this guy. Here's another one, Reverend Gary Davis, Ragtime Guitar, on Transatlantic, quid. Never tried him either. Is he country or, uh, well, it's folk, I suppose. So we've got Woody Guthrie, on Extra, from 68. It says on the back that he was ill and then he passed away um, shortly after, I think. And then Wood, I've got his son as well. I had actually quite a few albums by him, but I just went for one. This one, which I don't, I don't know. I know he has a famous album, somebody's diner or something, but um, I'm completely unfamiliar with him, as I am with George Henry Boosie and Jim Bunkley. I'm guessing that's blues, blues folk. Ah. Right. There was somebody selling some X uh, HMV stock for five quid. So this is a Hans Zimmer soundtrack to Hannibal. I think was that I was working in the cinema when this came out. I remember it being very uh, sold out at the cinema. Um, some spoken bits with Sir Anthony Hopkins talking on them. So that was a fiver. They had lots of other stock, because I think in the UK, HMV was sort of sold, and it looked like it was all going to close, and then I think a lot of the stock went, and now somebody bought it, with a Canadian, I think, or something, and then um, they are going to uh, keep some of them open, and I think there's a huge one in, one in Birmingham, I think, and I don't really know much about it, because I don't, don't go there. This is... Um, now, I had a 12-inch of this originally, and it was one that I obviously uh, culled. It's Porcupine Tree Voyage 34, which I, I, I read a bit about was um, the 34th time somebody had tried hallucinogenic uh, drugs. And um, Yeah, I just had a 12-inch of it, but this appears to be a whole album. It's remastered 2018, I think, yeah. It's from August 1993. Four phases. 
I remember the Astralasia part of it, but I will, in, I will listen to this because, yeah, just such a long time ago since I had it, but for a fiver, you know. And, oh, that appears to be it from yesterday's record fair, but just a couple of other things. One was a swap at a previous record fair that I've been to um, last uh, month. Now this is from, uh, let me see. This is from Guadalajope. I can't, it's the title here. It's a reissue of sort of like a compilation of some stuff that came out in the 80s. It was very difficult to get hold of. I suppose it's world, Afro, Caribbean, jazz, you name it. It's under all sorts of different um, um, genres. But I, I have to admit, I haven't listened to it yet. <laughs> but um, it should be interesting. It was a swap, so... And this as well was uh, was this a swap? I can't remember the other things I got about record fair, but I got this, which is from I think it's sort of like from a from a um, imaginary uh, radio station or a film or something, or maybe it actually is from a film. And it's all these sort of cover versions of uh, classic songs: "House of Rising Sun," "The End of the World," um, "Taste of Honey," "Love Hurts," "Unchained Melody," and then you've got people like Nora Jones, Kellis, Granddaddy. Uh, who else have I heard of that you've probably heard of? Beck and Sharon Van Etten doing all these sort of songs. So I will leave it at that for now. Thank you for watching. Um, it's very dark at the moment, isn't it? We just changed the clocks last night. So um, yeah, feeling a bit tired and could probably just easily go to sleep in a corner for a while, I suppose. Um, but I will go on. And uh, wish you all the best wherever you are on your weekend or if you're watching this in the week. Um, hope it cheers up like uh, the record fair I did yesterday cheered me up a fair bit. Um, and I uh, hope to see you in your videos. Thanks for watching. This has been Martin in the Spare Room. And um, talk to you soon. Bye.